What's up, everybody? Big Bone from the Bone Crew here on another episode of the Bone Break with the man himself. Young Ice. Young Ice. Young Bone. Yes, All right, man. Let's uh let's dive right into this shit right now. Um, so these questions are gonna be a little bit more difficult because you you snowboard, wake skate, and skateboard. These kind of were designed for just skateboarding, but let's just go. How long have you been skateboarding? How long have you been wake skating? And how long have you been snowboarding? So honestly, I started off on a skateboard and um, absolutely loved it. And um, so first time I actually thought about snowboarding was I went to um, Lake Tahoe and I was a little kid on these skis and um, started advancing more on that. And ever since uh, the first time really me going skiing, I was like, dude, I need to switch over and started snowboarding a little bit. Um, started up in college and got a good... Uh, program there where we could just go up and hit Sipapu. That's my um, my home mountain I usually go and shred at. And shoot, I started out really just skating in Bembrook in Leander, Texas too. So yeah, it's been pretty cool. And for wakeboarding, actually, I started out on wakeboarding and interesting how um, I decided to switch over to wake skating because ever since I figured out that you can even do such a thing, <laughs> Just like um, with the grip tape and how you can cross over, and uh, dude, it's it's been awesome, honestly. So. Yeah, no, it's super rad. I definitely definitely need to get on a wake skate this year, this yes, season, because uh, every time I see you out there, bro, I'm like hella, like <laughs> I need to get on that. Like, yeah. all right, all right. What made you get in to skateboarding in the beginning? Like, I know that you know you, skateboarding got you into snowboarding and wake skating, but what made you even want to skateboard? What made you even want to pick it up? Well, the cool thing is, um, if y'all don't know T-Bone, my older brother, he um, really started that uh, tradition and really in the family. And ever since um, I saw him do it, I was just inspired to just be as good as him. And he was always, you know, one step ahead. And I was always trying to be right there with him. And uh, that was, that's a really cool experience, just me and him both just skating. So yeah. he really got me into it. And um Made it real fun, so. Yeah, dude, that older brother, younger brother, like, who can get it type of feel, you know? I dig it. I dig it. All right. So, uh, we'll start with skateboarding. What What's your setup? Like, what do you like to ride? Like, name it all. Grip, trucks, board, etc. Right now, I'm riding a girl board. Oh, okay. Dude, I, I love them. I used to ride them, like, a long time ago and started trying all the other decks and just realized that, uh girl board i just really like the pop and the the way it's shaped honestly it's okay nice. you um you a mop guy or so you a... mob you know as you know the, as soon as you slap it on it just eats away at your shoes yeah I mean, you really gotta break it in for it yeah. to be good it's too sticky in my case and uh same so and uh jess up i would say is a little bit too much um doesn't have as much grip on it right for me. but so the good in between I like to is just Grizzly. Yeah, I, we everybody rides Grizzly on the Bone Crew except for Isaiah, and we all call him a Madman because he does yeah. that. <laughs> so I get what's your snowboard setup looking like? What do you ride snowboard wise? Yeah, dude, snowboard um, right now, I, Burton is on top, you know, and uh, Burton bindings and um, Burton is king, dude. Burton is yeah. king for sure, and then. Wake skate, you ride a, a tail 142, yes, right? Yes, uh, liquid I Force? Yes, ride the Liquid Force, yeah, a tail 142, and um, that board is, I just love how, like, the weight of the board, and because a lot of these wake skates, you know, they'll be like, the weight's kind of different, it's a little bit more heavier, right. it's a little easier to um, shove it and everything, but right. this Some... is kind of a nice in-between to where when you hit uh, jumps, it kind of sticks to your feet a little bit easier instead of like on those a lot of those headboards when you try to yeah um, they're like and, foam or whatever yeah, they don't they'll just fall right underneath you if you don't if you're not really used to yeah it, so. no you definitely uh once you got that board I feel like it really helped you progress yeah, like a, sweet spot a lot that, when it has a nice weight and just sticks to your feet man oh, sick this is awesome. I don't know what grip they have on that huh um I. I do not know. Yeah, we but you bought it pre-gripped, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. More is pre-gripped. And, uh, okay. Well, that's sick, is. dude. All right. Well, uh, this kind of goes for all of them: uh, skateboarding, snowboarding, wake skate. You don't gotta name all of them, but mm -hmm. what would be some of your dream sponsors? Like, if you could choose to be sponsored by anybody, what would what would your choices be? Man, I 
I, I, I love Liquid Forest, honestly. Okay. And um, I think for if they got into the snowboarding game, they could honestly use me as an advertisement if they uh -huh. want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say too much here. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Um, so the Liquid Forest, yeah, I, I'd snowboard and they can cross over from that. But just as far as a wake skating brand, yeah, it's... I love it so much. I mean, they last forever, and that's how I've always been riding them. So. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that board's solid. Like, yeah. like it's completely solid wood yeah. with just grip on top. Like, that board's going to last a lifetime. It does. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Okay. Same thing. Applies for skateboarding, snowboarding, and wake skating. What are some of your favorite obstacles to hit? My favorite obstacle to hit? Honestly, on every single sport wake skating snowboarding and um snowboarding why well, and skateboarding yeah, and skateboarding but uh all those uh it just would be a box just a box just a nice box i mean a fun box on a snowboard you can do so much with it yeah on a wake skate you know you can hit those shovets right off of it and you can do really cool stuff with that and i mean 50 50 grams on a skateboard that's like one of my favorite things to do oh it's yeah hard, but it's it's awesome. So, yeah, box. For sure. You definitely have like unlimited amount of play on that. Like yeah, you can so much you, you can do. Them. Yeah, like it's the creativity level that you can have on a box is just insane. But the next, I would have to say, a good nice kicker ramp. Oh yeah. Would have to uh, tie up with that too, though. Oh yeah. You man, send those fucking kickers those too, dude. Kick, I love being in the air, and no matter if it's a skateboard, wakeboard, or snowboard, I'm just. I love having that time. Man. Hell yeah, dude. That hang time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Same thing. Pies, so all three. What's your favorite trick? Doesn't necessarily mean you have to land it or know how to land it, but what's your favorite trick? Favorite trick. If I'm going to talk about all three of the sports I love to do, snowboarding, wave skating, and skateboarding, I would have to say just the backside 180. Honestly. Oh, I love I those. they just look so dirty. I mean, they do. you hit them on a snowboard, they look clean. I mean, anything you're doing wake skate, especially wake skate, I mean, you got to land blind like that, that's, that's extremely hard, but there's nothing better than good backside 180. I honestly. can 100% agree with that. It's like... <laughs> A lot of people look at it like a basic trick, but uh -huh. it's just one of those tricks that, like, when you get your style into it, it everybody's is different, and everybody's is creative, and everybody's is beautiful. Like, I love, I could watch clips of back 180s all day. Yeah, you can definitely add so much steez into the back 180s, and, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah there's so many, different, but... yeah, it's it's a great trick. It's a it's, it's not only just, like, a fundamental trick, but it's always just a great trick to see down a set, or just even on flat. Like, it doesn't matter, really. Like, it's a good trick to see. And when you're talking about skateboarding um, and wake, wake skating, shoot, the kickflip. If you know how to do a kickflip, you're goaded, honestly. Yeah, you're goaded, especially if you can do it on a wake skate. Like, that's hard. Skate, I mean, that's that's what's going to be coming up next. I'm just saying. Oh, no, yeah, no. Like, I expect to see that this summer, bro. I'll, <laughs> this summer, watch out for a little Yeah, bit. yeah. You, you'll be on the lookout for skate. Young Bone kickflipping on a wake skate. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, again, this applies for all three of your sports. You don't have to answer for every sport, but what is who is your favorite rider, both female and male? Female and male. And it can apply for all three. You don't have to answer individually for all three. You can just throw out like male snowboard, woman wake, or whatever. And it could be wakeboarding too, even though you know you wake skate. I mean, yeah. that's still in the same category. Well, um, right now, and I've always been a fan of him as far as the skateboarding world. I definitely like um, Shane O'Neill, just how he's a perfectionist. He's always just trying to land, just like it's so clean. And, oh, yeah. Um, very consistent, and just everything he does just looks so like effortless. He just, he just oh, yeah. it out there and he just gets it clean. Shane O'Neill's a goat. Yeah. Goated. He's, he's you already mentioned uh, your, fa your local snowboard park and your local skateboard park. Um, but you didn't mention your local wake skate park, so I'm going to ask you right now. Local park. Man, there's a lot of them that um, I like to go to. I mean, I've tried out TSR and um, tried out that one in Houston, DSR. And uh, I definitely like those. But honestly, as far as the rotation and just how they keep it managed and how chill the staff is, I would have to go with Quest. ATX Quest all ATX. day. 
Yeah, I mean, I love the people that work there. It's such a friendly environment, and um, it has a lot of really nice obstacles, especially for weight skating. And they're just it's usually not super busy as well, too. So oh, yeah. Definitely like getting the runs in over there. So. Definitely our home park, like yeah. the Bone Crew home park, for sure. Like, I love that place more than anything. Okay. If you ever do want to catch the Bone Crew and get some pictures or anything like that, just... just Letting you know that we're going to be over there most of the time. Yeah, summer. Quest ATX, like every yeah, Saturday, yeah, it's, it's all summer, summer long. Okay, um, the same question, you know, applies for all three of your sports, but who are uh, some of your favorite people to ride with? Favorite people to ride with? Um, like, I love getting doubles in with Big Bone. Love that. And I um, love getting uh, doubles in with just more wakeboarders on the team, like T-Bone. You know, he... Um, he, he does some crazy things. It's kind of scary sometimes when you're filming because yeah. he, he, he gets up there. So, But honestly, the filming aspect to it is so much fun. And um, I just, and even if we're not filming, just riding together. Yeah. We like, always are just, just having a good time. Just having a good time and like trying new things too, just messing around and seeing what we can do. It's always a fun. We get a kick out of just doing some crazy yeah. stuff. It's like at the end of the day, just like throwing something. We yeah. Really. You're all sore and worn yeah, out and just yeah, like, right. screw it. Let's just see what we can do. You know? Yeah. It's fun. Uh, riding with, yeah. yeah. Who do you, uh, who do you ride with out in New Mexico? Oh, so yeah, I ride with uh, my buddy, uh, Miguel, um, Mickey Williams, you know, he, um, he's a great, uh, snowboarder too extremely good uh cameraman footage and he loves getting uh footage he's really good at it but um yeah i mean me and him both just tear it up out there like, fuck yeah dude time, honestly. that's awesome man yeah. hell yeah okay all right uh same thing applies for all three sports um what is some of your dream tricks like things you haven't landed yet but you've always always wanted to oh that is and it may not even like i'm saying like this could be in your mind, impossible to you, but it's still your dream trick. You know what yeah, I mean? I'm not yeah, saying that, like, there. All right. yeah. Well, something that's definitely possible and yeah, sparks the mind is going to the waist skate sport and just doing a, a backside big, big spin. Um, oh my dude, God. If I hit that and land it blind, that's just something I've never hit before, but I can do it on a skateboard. I know the motion, just the whole handle pass is going to be. Yeah, and land it blind. Control. Yeah, land it and catching it perfectly. Back. Yeah, that'd be crazy, but on a snowboard. Definitely got to hit 360, and I'm probably most likely going to try that this year. Honestly. I think you got that, that this that's, year. That's going to come. Your 180s are fat both uh, ways. I think you got that 360. Yeah, 360 this year, for sure. And, um, yeah, um, shoot, doing, I mean, it would be crazy to do a backflip on a weight skate. I've never seen it done before. I feel like but you could do an indie. grab, yeah. Yeah, an indie. In the middle of the board, do an indie grab and do a backflip. I, I feel, feel like, like it could possible. be done. I feel like it could. I really do. That's a great idea. Pushing, you already see, you're already pushing your sport to a new level, brother. Exactly. Yeah, that would. Yeah, that'd be really cool. I mean, I know I could do a backflip, you know, but yeah, I just have to squat down and just send it. One just day. grab it like right when it comes off the ramp, and yeah. then just send it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you got something to look forward to. Stay yeah, dude. On that for real, Things coming have, in hot. We're gonna have some crazy epic fails this year. Oh we'll yeah. Some, Crazy everybody's crazy gonna go big season. this year everybody's itching Stay to get tuned. back it's on the water a crazy season yeah no season. i i know i know we're all itching to get back yeah, on the water it's gonna be a great great summer um so uh what like these out of these three sports you know like what what are some life's life lessons that these sports have taught you you know like that just you know kind of stuck with you and helped you out throughout other aspects of your life well, you know, all these sports, um, they have, uh, it's a great mental battle, honestly, and they've, it's taught me um, a lot of different things, because um, at a very young age, you know, trying to figure out how to do all these things, I was thinking, oh, it's more physical, physical, maybe you can't do it, but the great thing about these, these sports is, especially like snowboarding and wakeboarding, and waste skating, I mean, you could do so much stuff if you put your mind to it and you picture yourself doing it yeah you can do it and um it doesn't matter if you're not really athletic or not i mean it's if you want to put your mind to it like i know it sounds cliche but with these sports it's more mental than you think it is physical so don't ever think that you're limiting yourself to not be oh, able yeah. to do anything because you, you put your mind to it and you really think that you could do it and 
you can yeah you can like it's all in your head it's really all in your head and just practice and repetition man and just the willingness to go out there and you know fail epically until you get it yeah so the more um yeah the more fun you're having with it too way more like times you can learn stuff yeah you learn stuff way better i always say the best rider on the cable is the one that's having the most fun yes and don't i don't give a shit what you're doing you're not having fun you're not you're not you're not doing it yeah also something that just taught me as well you know try to make fun of everything yeah i mean if you're trying to get good at it and um even with like life not even as far as extreme sports you know if you try to make your job fun or whatever and just have a good attitude then it's going to be way better than having a bad attitude and oh yeah thinking that you're not be able to do something because you can yeah that's a great that's a great lesson from it dude that's awesome all right so what are some of your interests slash hobbies outside of extreme sports well if i'm not riding a skateboard or wakeboard in the in the um summertime then i like to go outside and I like to do a little angling bass fisherman oh yeah so, um I love going out there hitting the water, and that's just a new strategy as well to think about like, yeah. as far as um, being successful at it, and um, it's definitely um, it's very interesting to get into. Yeah, and he's being humble right now because he's, he's failing to mention to you that he's a fucking D2 wrestler, and he'll throw <laughs> your ass everywhere. Like, uh, like, literally, I ain't joking at all, bro. <laughs> I just watched one of your... I watched, like, some highlights that you posted of your match, and, dude, you were like, dude boss hogging it on the mat it's just, you know like same with extreme sports you know you're gonna have fun with something and if you find new ways to get better at it and um you know you're gonna excel a lot easier on it so hey very good point brother so, uh, very 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 good point yes. all right Dang. all three sports what are your dream parks that like all money put aside traveling all that put aside that you would want to go hit in all three sports Like the dream spot, that dream would, spot, dream park, like anywhere around the world, like you know, fucking uh, just name like a skateboard park or like a snowboard. All, yeah, all three. If you can, if you have an answer for all three, uh, we can do that. If you only have oh, an okay, answer for yeah. a couple, uh, oh, okay, yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying now. Um, for a skate park, um, you know, I'm more of a vert skater, and I would love it to just be mainly bowls and just like have a bunch of street parts like flat ground with uh-huh. like street rails and like street boxes and stuff but have all of the uh the, the park always integrate into another vert spot so where you can just push uh, off and then hit a roller and then go into a bowl that's sick uh, that, that's what would be like i surprised nobody really has it but like you had like bowls at the corner of all the street spots. Uh huh. I and see exactly. You would, after the bowls, you would just roll back in, and it would be a mellow transition to where you have like a street speed yeah. going on. So that would be dope. Everything. Where everything's like kind of you can just cruise in through the whole park. I always thought that would be really cool. Yeah. Too. Cool. Cool. That's sick. What about wake skating or snowboarding? So wake skating, um, I do like how like TSR has the uh, the island in the middle. And right. I really, like, I like it to be as fly as I it possibly can be. Especially you know, on a wake skate, yeah. Skate, yeah, when I'm trying to shove it and everything. But um, I do really like stair sets. I have not hit a stair set. It, I'm, we're going to hit a stair set this summer. Yeah, we're going but, to Hangar 9 this summer so you can hit that. Stair sets, I think, just look so icy. Like, yeah get some footage like just doing a backside 180 it definitely like, brings that skateboard yes. element to wake skating I like when uh skateboard elements on cable parks oh you know, yeah like stair yeah. sets and like little boxes and just anything really. yeah it's no fun, yeah. what about uh snowboarding are you more more street guy on snowboarding or are you more vert or so yeah for snowboarding um dude i i love just really nice mellow kickers you know not yeah. something too steep but like to where you can control it and you can just absolutely bomb it going into the jump instead of having some of the jumps you have to like kind of slow down because the the uh transition is way too uh steep to get going for the jump so. but honestly just like a nice little mellow um kicker you oh yeah a lot of time to set up and hit your grabs hit your 180s and it doesn't launch you up too high there, yeah so. no that's a big thing because uh, i know when i went snowboarding I definitely didn't think that they, like, I knew they packed it, but I definitely didn't think it was that hard. Like, yes. it's equivalent to cement 
Like um, it's literally like you're landing on cement. Yeah. Like and is. I did the not. Landings should be always groomed. Yeah, like I did not realize that when I first went snowboarding like that. Like it's that it's that stiff. Like mm -hmm. it's like like it, you you go on a powder day, you get some powder and you can send some stuff, you know, because you're just gonna flop into it or whatever. But when you got that stiff, like I don't like going too high on snowboarding quite <laughs> yet. Like I'm not quite there yet. Yeah, for sure. But that's sick, dude. And, Fuck yeah. And rainbow rails on snowboards. Oh yeah, the ones that go up and. Oh. Oh yeah, you just got some clips on one, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. dude, that was Those sick. Those are so much fun, and like the higher they go, the cooler it is. Honestly, like yeah, so like, you can't make those too steep. Like a lot of people like to just mellow them out to make it a little bit chiller, but no, nah, dude. Like when it's steep like that, you can have choices to either hop off of it or ride down the backside. Right. So, I love those um those rainbow rails. Okay, sick. All right, man. What's what's one some of your least favorite trends and you know, skateboarding, wake skating, wakeboarding, snowboarding that you've seen, you know, in the last couple of years. Wow. I know. I know everybody kind of gets on people for like wake pants and stuff. So like, I'm just kind of seeing like, if you got some, you know what I mean? Like what, what bugs you? Like, why do you, why are you doing that? You know, like, well, I mean, I'm a pretty easy going person and I don't really like any of the trends, like don't really bother me, but I mean, I know that like scooters are definitely that trend is going hard and i do not respect a scooter rider that's in a skateboard <laughs> man i'm just saying if you're a scooter rider right now watching this i'm sorry but i might just bump into you man. yeah you know i just don't think you belong there get on a skateboard and um if you're not get on a bike and do some crazy things don't be, don't be a pussy man. yeah 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 i i feel you literally like like i'm kind of like if you're a little kid, like, if you're, like, really good at scootering or whatever, like, I'm chill with you being at the park, because you, you know park etiquette, like, you're not yeah, going to get in my way. If you're really good at something, that's different. Yeah, like, but if you're, you're like, just... you're, like, a five-year-old kid, your mom took the skate park just for, like, you to, like, get in my way 17 times yeah. while I'm doing a trick, definitely. Yeah, especially if you're a teenager still ripping in, you're not even that good. Yeah, it's one of those things, like, either you need to progress at it or put it away, in my opinion. I, I don't really care for it all that much if either. If you're good, though, and you're doing some crazy stuff, then maybe there's an exception there. <laughs> maybe. Okay. <laughs> well, you started skateboarding, so let's just put that on skateboarding. Who was your favorite rider growing up? You know, I know you said Shane O'Neill is your current mm -hmm. favorite rider, yeah. but, like, when you were young and just getting started, yeah. who was the guy? Who was the man? The, the legend himself, Bob Bernquist. Bobby Bernquist. I was always liking the vert skating ever since I was a kid, even though I didn't have much experience with it, but I just thought it was cool with someone just being in the air. And yeah. Ever since a kid, I was thinking it was always cool, just people just doing crazy air tricks, and I know that Bob Bernquist, when he was on the Mega Ramp, man, he really, like, that's one of my favorite skaters growing up, and it's just... Well, it's and awesome he's so him. underlooked at, like, when you say vert, everybody thinks Tony Hawk. But in my opinion, Bob Burnquest has done so much more gnarlier shit he than like, Tony. What, like ten, like gold medals, like thirteen or something. Like yeah, that. like, He's but just like when you see what he does on the mega ramp, like Tony Hawk, I don't think has ever even like really hopped yeah, on a mega. Yeah. Like just the things that he's been innovative with in the sport and how hard he's pushed it. And just how great he is at his sport, yes. dude. And like he's like fifty something, still shredding the mega ramp. For real. Okay. Um. What is your worst injury you have gotten riding in any of the sports? Well, luckily, throughout my years of riding in sports, um, I haven't gotten any serious injuries, to be honest. Um, I've always, like, really hurt myself bad, but nothing to where it was too extremely bad. Or right. Just m most of the time, it's just like head injuries, like concussions. Like I've been, I've hit some nasty things before, just riding their bikes and yeah, um, yeah. I've definitely like I've had a point where when I was little, I was riding and aired out this flat top, and dude, I freaking the the whole motorcycle came down on me, crushed me, and that was like the worst spill I took and. I was alright. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty, like, when you consider how long you've been doing all these sports, like, that's pretty good, bro. Yeah. Like, I, I know, I mean, just me alone, I've had, like, in one ankle, 10 different oh, injuries yeah. in that one ankle. So, it's just, that's pretty lucky, brother. Like, I'm not going to lie. Well, we all come, you know, banged up. Yeah, and, like, we're all. Something like that. I mean, if you're not, you're not really trying anything. Yeah, you're not, you're not learning if you're not, you know, I mean, yeah, bailing. It's, it's part of it, but, um, definitely, uh. 
nothing too serious, luckily. All right, man. Well, uh, that concludes uh, the bone break, man. I appreciate you coming on. Yes, sir. It was fun. Hell yeah, I man. Talk to y'all and tell me a little about me, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was a good experience. Young Bone, man. Young Ice too. Go check him out, brother. Dropping fire in music and in stream sports content and wrestling. Snowboard, wake skate, skateboard, content coming your way. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. <laughs>